Hello guys, happy year of the dragon to all of you and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This year in 2024, we are going to try out something new. For every video that we put up, we are going to have a cash prize of $100 in cold hard cash. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to win the cash prize. Alright, this year will be an exciting year with many new launches. A total of about 40 new launches and for this video, I'll be talking about my top 8 new launches in 2024 that offer the best investment opportunities. And if you're interested to receive the list of 2024 new launches, do click on the link in the description below, fill up the Google form and I will send it over to you. Without further ado, let's head over to Jalan Tembusu. So this plot will likely launch in the third quarter this year. This is quite a big development with about 184 units. So Simlian Group emerged as the top bidder for this site and their bid was just $800,000 or 0.1% higher than the $828 million submitted by a joint venture between CDL and Fraser's property. And this site is just opposite Tembusu Grand which was launched just last year in 2023 and surprisingly this top bid of 1069 PSF PPR is 17.9% lower than Tembusu Grand price of 1302 PSF PPR. The lower land bid price can be attributable to a couple of factors. The first reason is that this new plot is under the new harmonization ruling. If you don't know what this is, it's okay. I will leave a link in the description below if you are keen to read more. In short, the aircon ledge, the high ceiling your void space that were free to sell previously by developers are now chargeable. And this will definitely eat into about 5-7% to of the sellable area and so developer will lose a bit of revenue from there. And also for this new site, the developer needs to do some CIP work, which is to build a neighboring park next to it. And even if you account for the above reasons, plus higher GST, manpower costs, construction costs, I think that Simlian still got it at a slightly cheaper price than Tembusu Grand. So based on each props analysis, estimated break-even price is about 1911 PSF. So estimated selling price could be starting from 2200 PSF to 2300 PSF. And this could work out to be lower than the average launch day price of Tembusu Grand at 2465 PSF. So the million dollar question here is, does lower land cost equate to selling at a lower price? So actually developers have no incentive to do charity. To date, the nearby Tembusu Grand has already sold 60% and some of the units are transacting at above 2700 PSF. So if a developer managed to win the land at a lower price, this just means that they can earn a bigger margin by just selling at the accepted price in that area. Next up, we have Pine Grove Parcel B Government Land Sales. This plot will likely launch in the last quarter of this year and we will have about 565 residential units. Jointly developed by Sinamars and MCL, this is an exclusive enclave in the Mount Sinai area, surrounded by nature. So this plot Parcel B is located directly next to Parcel A, which is now Pine Tree Hill. Parcel A was launched last year in 2023 and one of the advantage Parcel A has over this parcel is that the entire development is within one kilometer of Henry Park Primary School but only about half of parcel B is within one kilometer of Henry Park. It is also interesting to note that just like the two plots at Jalan Tembusu, parcel B is slightly cheaper at 1223 PSF PPR versus 1318 for parcel A, cheaper by about 7.2%. And this was kind of expected due to the changes in the GFA harmonization rule, which I spoke about previously, which will impact the developer's profit margin by about 5-7%. to So in essence, the developers bought the land at about the same price as Pine Tree Hill. And my guess is that the developer will load the larger units into the block within one kilometer of Henry Park that will result in higher PSF there and put the smaller units outside one kilometer with lower PSF there to attract interest into the site. And this is why I think you can consider entering the smaller units outside one kilometer of Henry Park if they are priced cheaper than parcel A. So because if I were a buyer who do not need to stay within one kilometer to a good primary school and you ask me to choose between two developments that are just side by side each other, it just makes more sense to buy the cheaper one at Parcel B. So I really do hope that whatever I predicted will come true and developers will sell their small units at a cheaper price compared to Pine Tree Hill. Next, we have a government land sale at Tampanese Avenue 11 right beside the future Tampanese North MRT. Estimated launch could be in the second half of this year. So this is an integrated development with a bus interchange, community club and a hawker centre all directly linked to the upcoming Tampanese North MRT. So this is quite a big development and will potentially yield more than 1,100 units. And just to give you a sensing on how huge this land parcel is, this site is approximately 50,000 square metres and this is almost twice the size of our Tampanese 1, Tampanese Mall and Century Square combined. And the exit strategy is very clear here as there are many new clusters of BTO that were MOP when this development TOP in around 2028 or 2029. So this land was secured by a consortium between UOL, Singland and Capital Land for $1.2 billion, 
which works out to be about 885 PSF PPR. This is really cheap. Even though the estimated break-even cost is about 1661 PSF, you could see developers launching at about above 2000 PSF as this is an integrated development. Now let's head over to Topayo. Gem Residences was the last new launch condo in Topayo. It launched in 2016 at around 1,400 PSF. Fast forward to today, most are transacting at around 1,008 to 1,009 PSF. So very soon, we will have another new launch in Topayo, right opposite Gem Residences. It is bigger at around 775 units and closer to Bredo MRT Station. From the tender specifications, there could be a shelter walkway to Bredo MRT Station, which is good news for the prospective buyers out there. Jointly developed by three major property developers, CDL, Fraser's Property and Sequisui House, the estimated launch date would be around last quarter of 2024. The land was bid at 1360 PSF PPR, and estimated selling price could be at around 2500 PSF. While this might seem high, I think that entering at this price still gives you a bit of room for appreciation. And this is mainly due to the strong HDB upgraders from the newer BTOs in the area. And Topayo is no stranger to many million dollar HDBs. So HDB upgraders are actually very important in the entire ecosystem of how the Singapore real estate market is built on. Because once this BTO reach their MOP, they are going to introduce fresh liquidity into the area, which can help in your capital appreciation. In addition, the Topayo area has experienced an eight year hiatus since the last property launch in 2016 when Gem Residences was launched. And this extended gap will likely create a pent-up demand for new condo units within the area. We are also within one kilometer to a good primary school pay chain, and being in a mature estate, you are surrounded by plenty of food options and amenities. So what more can we ask for? And with that, we have come to the end of part one of my top new launches in 2024. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when part 2 comes out. Remember at the start of the video, I mentioned I have a $100 cash prize to give away. And what you have to do to win the cash prize is just three simple things. Number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, like this video. And number three, comment on which condo will have the highest percentage sold at launch day and why. Alright, that's the end of part one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.